Hi there, my name's Vince and I'm from Mr. Telephone and today I'm going to talk about how to install a VDSL place faceplate. These are the latest faceplates normally used with lines, uh, fibre to the cabinet lines like BT Infinity. Okay, so it's nice and straightforward. You have to have an NTE5 to use one of these products. If you haven't got an NTE5, you won't be able to use it. An NTE5 is this split face master socket that's been around for 20 odd years now. So these things are... VDSL face plates are so simple to use, it's exactly the same as using the eye plate from before. So basically you just need to undo the two screws here and slide out the extensions. Be careful when you're sliding them out, don't yank them too hard as they may not be cable tied. So just nice and gently slide that out. You get your VDSL face plate, it's got a cutaway there for the cable so you don't need to undo any of your wiring. You just plug it in like so and then you need to plug your face plate back in. Now. These little screws will no, are no longer long enough to go all the way through. So in the pack with the VDSL faceplate, you will get two, two lots of screws. You will get self-tapping screws and you will get machine threaded screws. Now, you need to look at the ones that came out. If it's a self-tapping one like this, you need to put a self-tapping one in. So if you get the screws out, you will see there's two ones. That's the self-tapper and that's the machine, the machine thread ones, the same as you would have on, uh, they used to have them on the master sockets years ago and uh, they would have them on electrical back boxes. But this one here is a self tapper. So if you just match up the little screw that came out, you can probably see that it's not like the machine screw one, it's like the self tapper. So in this instance, you just use the self tapper. So basically, you just uh, plug in yourself, uh, screw in your self tappers using uh, a Phillips screwdriver all the way in, use both of them. And uh, that's how you fit an ADS uh, VDSL faceplate. Now with the VDSL faceplate, it means that everything is now filtered from here. So you don't need to have your ADSL filters plugged into all your extension sockets. Your extension sockets will already be filtered. So just plug your phone, your skybox, your fax straight into the socket on the wall. You no longer need these because the VDSL faceplate has uh, built all the filtering into here for you. And uh, that's it, you plug your phone line into the bottom one here and you plug your cable that goes to your router or your modem into the top one here. So that's your phone line and this one here, that's your normal phone socket and this one here is uh, an RJ11, RJ45 socket there. And uh, with this VDSL faceplate, you have to use your router by the master socket. Your router will no longer work in your extension sockets because the filtering's been done here, so your extension sockets are now the filtered signal, while this one here is the unfiltered signal. So the only place you can plug your, mo your, uh, your router in is into this uh, top section here. If you do want your router in another room, then you're gonna have to run a, uh, uh, an ADSL extension kit or a very long ADSL lead to the room that you need to get it to. Okay, thanks a lot. If you want the VDSL faceplate, please check out my eBay shop. That's uh, www.mrtelephone.co.uk. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel for a lot more how-to videos in the future. Thanks very much for your time.